Hello, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your um, iOS device running firmware, I think it's 16.2 all the way up to 17.5.1, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is a three-step process, um, but this is all made by a really cool dev. Go check him out at github.com slash p233cyber. Bro, go check this guy out. He made this whole thing. So, if you enjoy it, just go support him. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So, the first thing you want to do is you're going to need to give your Safari administrator permissions so that it can patch your... Uh, iPhone. Yeah, it's confusing. But first, before we do that, I'm going to show you that I'm running, uh, let's see, general about iOS 16.6.1 um, under the, it's on an iPhone 8. Uh, so, yeah, I'll show you how to do this now. You're going to go to P233, that's P233, P233 Cyber. That's the guy who made this whole thing. Go check him out dot github dot io slash and the first page we're going to want to go to is permissions so I'll go there and you'll get this safari permission giver and this is going to give system permissions to the safari application this uses an exploit in the uh, javascript framework to be able to do this just click it and it says system permissions granted please restart safari so you're going to close Safari, you're going to go back into your settings, you're going to go to Safari, and you're going to clear the history website data, and close all the tabs, okay? Now you're going to pop back into Safari, but now Safari has administrative permissions. So now what you're going to do is go to p233cyber.github, github.io, and the next page is... Patcher, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be p p two three three cyber .github .io slash patcher. And this is an iOS patcher. Now, this will, again, use a JavaScript exploit to, to get root access to your phone and disable anti-jailbreak protections. So, in the newer versions of iOS... There is anti-jailbreak protections that makes it so you usually can't jailbreak uh, the newer versions, but this will bypass that. So first thing you're going to need to do is click on settings, and you'll get iOS patcher, disable anti-jailbreak, and you're just going to choose what from or what software you're on. So we are running 16.6.1, run. so round to the don't count the last number, the, don't count the point one, point seven, whatever. Just count 16.6. .6. So you're going to go back in, and you're going to find the one that it supports. It goes all the way up to 17.6, and the minimum is 16.2. So just choose the one that you want. So 16.6 .6 is the one that I'm on. Once you've selected the iOS version you're on, hit close, and hit start patching. It will patch the anti jailbreak protections. So just wait for that. And you will get status patched. So once you get status patched, we're going to actually go ahead and download the jailbreak. So to get that, go to p233cyber.github.io slash d4rk dark tree. So this is the actual jailbreak. So go to p233cyber.github.io slash darktree with a 4 instead of an A. And we'll get to the actual jailbreak page. Go ahead and just download it and allow the configuration profile. And the reason it's able to do this through configuration profiles is because we've given Safari admin privileges. Now, normally, this would be like fake. 
because it's a profile, it wouldn't be able to do anything because it's just a website. Well, if you remember the old jailbreak me's is what they were called. Like, I can show you one. It was totally dash not uh, dot spyware at all. If you remember this one or you remember uh, jailbreakme.com, um... This was a way that you could do it through your browser. This basically does that, but for newer versions. So, just pull up the profile. Dark Tree Jailbreak, P223 Cyber, and a monkey. Yes, I did help make this with uh, P223 Cyber. P223 Cyber did all the actual jailbreak coding and the patcher and all that. And I just simply designed the website and app UI. So, if you like the UI, make sure to... Uh, Make sure to uh, subscribe to me as well as follow dark, uh, P223 Cyber on GitHub. But just go ahead and install the profile. Put in your passcode. Install. Install. Don't worry, it's not signed. We just weren't able to get a signing certificate for this. And you'll get Dark Tree. Dark Tree is legit just going to be a blank app icon. It's not actually blank. It's just a tree that's black. But it's all black in this version for some reason. I don't know why. But just go ahead and click on Dark Tree. It'll be right there on your home screen. Just hit it. And you'll get into the Dark Tree jailbreak. So, as you can see, kernel exploit by P233 Cyber, and the UI was by me, so go ahead and check both of us out. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is note what version you're on. So, if you're on an older version, you'll need to do something different. Not your iOS version, but your model version. So, basically, if we look up um, iOS 8 process, or iPhone 8 processor you'll notice we are on an a11 bionic chip now if you are on an a11 or less chip you're going to need to do the next step if you're on anything above a11 chip don't touch anything just skip to the actual jailbreak but if you're on an a11 or less chip go to settings turn on export tfp0 Turn on Refresh Icon Cache, and turn on Install Open SSH. Only if you're on a device that's running an A11 processor or less. So an A10, A9, A8. If you're running an A12, A14, anything like that, just don't touch this. This is optional. You can do whatever you want with this. Uh, but don't touch anything else. Just close out of the window. And without further ado, we are ready to jailbreak the device. So this is what's called a semi-jailbreak. Since this is newer firmware and they have much more restrictions, you can't actually modify the system files quite yet. But what this does is it's able to install tweaks by just holding them in a separate folder and then symlinking them to your device. So you can't install all the tweaks you'd be able to install with a couple exceptions. You can't install any tweaks that modify how your phone works. Yep, I know that's sad, but you can install all your themes. You can install your, you know, status bar remover. You can install your lock screen tweaks and themes and whatnot. You can install all of that. Something you can't install, for example, would be uh, something that uh, deletes, you know, the App Store or something like that. That's just an example, but without further ado, just hit jailbreak now. Now, this process may take a bit because it does do a bunch of stuff. So just just wait. <laughs> um, this will take about a minute to complete, um, usually. It depends on what uh, software you're on. But it usually takes about a minute to finish uh, doing its thing. And this is a Cydia um, jailbreak, which means after you're done, you can install Cydia. But I will also show you how to install Cilio as well. Um, because uh, P233 
P233Cyber also included support for Cilio with this jailbreak, so. Just wait for this to complete. Um, and you are officially jailbroken. Now, um, now what you're gonna do is hit install Cydia. Allow, close, go back to, if we close it, you can see the dark tree before it goes black. I don't know why it goes black, but anyways, profile downloaded, Cydia, just install Cydia, put in your password, install, done, and bam, you are officially jailbroken. You have Cydia. You can install any tweak you want on your device. But let's say you want Cilio instead of Cydia. You can't just go here and go Cilio. It doesn't exist. So I'm going to show you how to install Cilio with this jailbreak. If you want Cilio, go back online. If you don't want Cilio, you're done. Click off of this video. But if you do, go to p 233 Github dot io slash cilio and just install cilio an alternative to cydia for managing jailbreak gaps just install cilio again allow settings cilio and you can definitely have both if you'd like uh that is a thing you can do you can just keep both but that is how to jailbreak your phone using dark tree this works on the newest to date uh, ios version and yes that is how to do that so if you enjoyed um make sure to uh, uh subscribe uh, and another thing is if we go into uh, something like manage account you'll notice it says hey you must jailbreak your device to get fully functional cydia now again this is uh, a semi jailbreak, so it's not fully jailbroken. It does; it's a rootless jailbreak. So, uh, yeah, that's it. You can install tweaks, but not all of them will work. But that's how to jailbreak the newest versions of iOS. It goes all the way up to seventeen point five point two or point one. I don't know. I think it's point two. Let's see. I don't know. It's something along those lines. But as you can see, jailbroken. If you ever want to re-jailbreak the device, if and for any reason, if you accidentally reboot your phone and the jailbreak is gone, close dark tree, open it up again, and you'll be able to jailbreak it again. So you can also use this to just click restore rootfs and jailbreak, and that will uh, get rid of the jailbreak. So if you're if you like this video, go ahead, subscribe and bye.